hello guys so we are back once again so in this video I will show you how to send your messages from your Java Swing application to your Android smartphone all right so uh, first of all let me open my NetBeans application all right here so we have this design all right here we will display the user messages and now uh, let me say we have uh, let me see text area sorry let me delete it and we need a text field all right so the user will enter these messages here and we need a button so here let's say send to android all right so in our send to android method we will specify our socket so let's say socket as equals to new socket and in here we need to provide the ip of my android phone all right so for that what we will do let me show you how to get your ip in your android phone So here it's the IP all that you guys can see 192.168.10.35 so I will say .10.35 and on port number 7801 it will be listening all right our um, this swing application is listening at 7800 and our android application is listening at 7801 all right so it is asking me for unknown host exception so i will just say catch io exception uh, i just don't like the netbeans or eclipse and i just live love android studio it's very easy to code in your android studio so now we will also need a print writer so we will say print writer pw equals to new print writer and in here we say s dot get output stream so first of all let me add the import and we will say pw dot write and what we will write is j let me see the j text field this one get text all right and we will just flush the print writer then we will close the print writer and finally we will close the socket all right and here we say e dot print straight trace all right so now our application is uh, uh, all right here is now finished there is a, an error i guess so where is the error let me see if it is running or not 
so guys it's uh, running all right so uh, let's come to our android part so in our main activity what we will do we will, we will create a thread all right we will create an, a thread and then we will listen to the thread we can do this th thing in our uh, ui all right so we will say thread my thread equals to new thread and in here we will specify our own thread my server thread all right so we will have to create a class my server thread and we will implement it with runnable interface and then we will just uh, say run all right we will implement the method run so we will be doing all our uh, sockets uh, uh, things in our thread so first of all let's say socket s server so double s so let me not initialize it globally let me initialize them in our my server thread all right so first of all we will say uh, let me show you equals to new server thread server socket sorry and here we will say 7801 the port number so it is saying me an io exception so we will just cut it and paste it here i will say io exception what's the issue here So here we will say double as server socket new server socket seven eight zero one. What's the issue here? I don't know. Okay, I don't do it. all right so now we say while true okay we will just do it in our run method i was doing a mistake so first of all let's say socket s server socket double s and we say input stream re uh, reader Alright, so we will say here that's equal to new server socket 7801 and then here we will say try get block here io exception alright uh, so here we will say while true here what we will do s equals to ss dot accept server socket accept here we will initialize our input stream reader s dot get input stream all right let's see the code here yes we have this input stream reader all right, so we also need a buffer uh, reader in our android so let's say buffered reader and we say buffer reader let me see all right equals to new 
buffer reader and here we will just say isr all right so we also need a string message and then we will say message equals to buffer reader dot read line so and now we need to print the message all right so now how to print the message in your thread or async task so here is we can use a handler we say handler s equals to new handler and when it say then don't okay then you have to choose this android dot os dot handler not this one logging dot handler no you have to choose this one all right and here we say s dot post new runnable and here we will say toast dot make text in here we say get application contact and here we will say message dot short dot show all right so now our uh, code is complete and now here what we will do we will say my thread dot start we have a spelling mistake here all right now it's working so now let's run our application and let's see if it works or not let me also first of all run the server all right so first of all let me send a message from my android hello pc and when i click on send here you can see hello pc so now when i uh, write message hi android and when i click on send to android as you guys <laughs> can see this hi android how uh, let me how are you android and when i click on send to android as you guys can see how are you android i can send the message from my uh, java swing application to my android application all right so guys if you uh, uh, if i get a, a, a lot of views in my this uh, mm, video so i will upload a video in which uh, you ca will be able to send your voice uh, your voice message from your android to your java swing and from your uh, java swing pc application to your android application all right so if you like the video please subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye